What's going on everyone? My name is Chris Dudo and I'm the Goalie Gear Snob and today I'm going to talk to you about this Brian's Optic 3 hoodie and how it matches this Optic 3 chest. Let's check it out. Before I start talking about this unit here, I just want to give a huge shout out to Brad Johnson over at Brian's for allowing me to try out that sick demo set of Optic 3s. Get this badass hoodie here and check out the Optic 3 chest protector in person. Also, want to give another huge shout out to the Dallas Stars equipment staff for letting me borrow the sample that was sent out to them from Brad. Um, and it was actually destined for a goalie who also wears another brand that starts with a B. So the first thing I want to call out on this chest protector here is how this unit is considered NHL spec. So Brian's with the Optic 2 and the Optic 3 are now making NHL spec chest protectors available at the retail level. The difference here, and really the only major difference between the units, is that to make a unit completely NHL spec, you cannot have adjustment points across the back where the back plate connects to the shoulders and to the floaters. So when I spin this around, you can see how the Optic 3 has a dual adjustment point right here. If this was NHL spec, these would be sewn down. That's it. Everything else in terms of the protection, fit, everything else is identical. That's a cool feature from Brian's. But starting off with the unit here, you can see that it has a dual adjustment point across the back plate where the shoulder floater connects. Very similar to the Optic 2 model that they've had before. But the main difference here is that this back plate piece is actually shortened a whole bunch. So it doesn't actually ride up and curl towards the inside of the neck. A good buddy of mine is using this unit, or excuse me, using the Optic 2 unit right now. And he found that that back plate would really curl and stick into his neck. Didn't like that. So Brian's has adjusted that here. So as I continue to spin it around, you're going to see how gorgeous this unit looks in all black. I'm very happy with how it looks. I like the mix of the air mesh. I like the mix of the nylon, Gen Pro, et cetera. I think this looks like a really fantastic unit. Starting off with some of the biggest changes from the Optic 2 to the Optic 3, including this shortened back plate right here, is that this clavicle protector on the inside is entirely sewn in. If you remember on the Optic 2, there's a giant piece that would Velcro in, so you could adjust the height of that clavicle protector. Brian's actually opted for that to be sewn in here, and the internal padding that they had extra from that piece is actually built into the inside of the body as well. So that's a cool little feature on that. So I want to talk about some of the other cool differences between the Optic 2 and the Optic 3 now. So the biggest and coolest difference between the Optic 2 and now to the Optic 3 is this adjustment right here. So I've actually adjusted a lot of gear for my buddies over the last little bit. In the last few months, I've actually done two Optic 2 chests. And the reason why I want to talk about those Optic 2 chests and the things I fixed is because Brian's has adjusted that and fixed that issue on the Optic 3. So on the Optic 2, there was actually a kind of piece of like, um, uh, I guess you would call like a Gen Pro that was kind of Velcroed back and you would adjust that to kind of uh, create some Thanks Rex for your hair. So you kind of create some attention, some of the tension right there and be able to adjust it. But what I found is that that elastic over time was entirely stretching out, wearing out, wearing out. Those plastic clips were breaking and I've actually had to fix them. But now on the Optic 3, you don't need any of those adjustments anymore. You're now getting this giant two inch wide nylon strap that runs from the back plate over to the side on what they're calling a smart block strap. So this is actually a giant piece of HD foam with Velcro on the side of it that you can entirely remove. And when you want to adjust it, you just press it right back down and close it off. If you're a goalie like myself that likes to just put the chest protector on without adjusting any of the straps, you can leave it Velcroed right here. And it's actually pretty easy and comfortable to be able to slide in and out. Uh, I think it's best for tucking this chest protector because these straps are a little bit shorter. If you untuck the chest protector, I would assume that these shorter nylon straps might be a little bit too short for you. 
I don't know if this is entirely a factory length. It's possible the stock one could be a little bit longer, but if you do untuck your chest protector, this strap might be a little bit too tight for you. Also, if you don't tuck in your chest protector, you're doing it wrong. So another piece I want to talk about is the arm adjustment that you're going to see on the Optic 3, which is different from the Optic 2. On the older model, you used to have two pieces that were kind of sandwiched in here with Velcro that would keep everything closed. However, Bryant's has opted for a Gen Pro bridge right here with two sets of holes where you run the lace through to adjust the tension. And so I think that's a really good feature because when I tried this unit on, the arms kind of fit a little bit more like a medium, which I do prefer. Again, this is a large body, but with the adjustments kind of being on the inside hole right here, it's closer to a medium arm length. If you want to lengthen the arm, you undo this lace, move it out an inch, and there you go, you have a little bit of a longer arm. But also I want to point out that not only is this laced in, you're actually getting some elastic as well. So this arm is built off of an elastic bridge, which actually pulls pretty well and kind of makes it a little bit stretchy on the body. So when you put it on and stretch out, you're getting a little bit more flexibility on the inside of the arm, which I do prefer. But I want to talk about some of the other arm adjustments and elbow cups now. So when you're looking at the back of the arm of the Optic 3, you're actually getting three adjustment points. And they actually run through these little nylon loops right here on the back of the elbow cup. I know a lot of other companies and models have something similar here, but I just want to call out that there's different lengths that you can kind of adjust this elbow cap and try to move it up if you see fit. Another cool feature is that Brian's puts this little tiny flap on the inside of the arm here. So if you are an RVH or you're in a weird situation where you're having pucks kind of clip the back of your arm or back of your wrist over here, there's a little bit of extra protection pre-built into the arm, which I think is pretty cool. But it's a pretty basic elastic system with one, one and a half inch wide elastic that runs across. Again, these straps are a little bit shorter. If you do want them a little bit longer to be able to secure them and double back, uh, the stock unit might be a little bit longer. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's just did, that is something I did want to call out on this unit here. Something else I want to talk about on the Optic 2 that's now different on the Optic 3 is on the Optic 2 you used to have these side protectors that were Velcroed in. You could actually change the width or the tension or tightness, if you will, of the chest protector across your side. So Brian's has taken those entirely away. I know some people used to put them on and the Velcro would clip and they kind of rip out and they kind of fall off of them or other goalies just didn't like it at all and didn't like the feeling of that soft Velcro rubbing across their side. So Bryant's has actually kind of built in that extra little padding on the side here. So the side rip protection is pretty soft on the inside, but very stiff and hard on the outside. And it is very comfortable to wear on the body. And don't forget, you're getting this giant HD block here as well. I don't want to say it kind of acts like a cheater, but it definitely sticks out a little bit off the sides to really help fill that gap between the arms and the body. Uh, Rex just meowed, it was a door bottle if you heard it. So this Optic 3 chest protector is considered tapered. So what that means is that the body actually slims out a little bit more towards the stomach and the shoulders have the most coverage that the NHL spec allows. So like I mentioned earlier, this chest protector, in my opinion, would be best for tucking in due to that tapered shape and how tight these straps are across the side of the body. And I think that that's going to be the best way to wear this unit. I think that's the best way to wear all units. So when I compare this Optic 3 chest towards the old Optic 2 chest, the Optic 2 had a lot of different adjustment points and a lot of Velcro areas, which could be great for people to adjust, get the right fit, get the right feel. But once they adjust it, they really don't need to ever adjust it again. And I think that that's actually what caused some of the detriment of the Optic 2 units, that elastic would stretch out, plastic pieces would break, and they just get a little bit worn out. And when I look at this Optic 3 here with the strategic foam blocks with the nylon straps across the back, I don't think that body is ever going to loosen up over time and you have way less movable parts to get undone, to get broken, just to kind of fall apart. And I think that's a really cool thing about the Optic 3. So while you're not necessarily getting that adjustable clavicle, you're not getting those adjustable side straps, you're not getting those removable rib pieces, I still think you're getting a super robust, comfortable unit that is very protective, that's going to be a little bit more durable over time. All right, goalies. So now that I've worn this Optic 3 chest and this Optic 3 hoodie quite a bit, 
I want to talk to you guys about some final thoughts and kind of go over some of that, some of those catalog specs and talk about if I was able to find out how they felt out on the ice. So let's get started and get right into it here. So this Optic 3 chest protector fit me big. I'm not sure if it was just that I might have needed a smaller size or what have you, but I adjusted everything down and as low as I could go. And this chest protector was tall on the shoulders. And I know what some of you might be thinking, don't you want to be tall at the shoulders? Don't you want to take up this area over here? And yes, absolutely I do. I just think that there is a fine line where it goes too high and you lose that neck and head mobility and you get interference with the mask. And that's what I personally experienced when I was using this Optic 3 chest. When I first put it on, it felt big, it felt tall. But like I said, I was kind of open to try to look a little bit bigger because I've always felt that my current CCM Pro in a size large basically just kind of sits like it's a little too rounded at the shoulders. So I wanted something a little bit bigger. But it was big, it was square, it was still NHL spec. Uh, I had people comment to me and say, you know, you look ginormous, you look big. Kind of remind me of that old goalie store bulletin board joke with 195 chests where, you know, they would come up at almost the top of the ears. Um, I know some goalies like that shape still, but for me, it felt a little bit too large there. The physical chest shape and across the body, right at the floaters where all the B-Star logos line up, uh, it felt big. It kind of felt like an umpire, if that makes sense. I felt tall. Uh, I felt like I was just presenting extremely well, like there's no gaps where a puck could sneak through there. So I was very happy with how that presented here. So it felt extremely comfortable across the neck opening here. I really liked how it felt here. Having this reduction off the pieces on the inside right here felt great. Uh, it felt really comfortable. I was honestly a little bit worried about like the locker room loop right here, just kind of like clipping into the back of my neck, but had no issues, felt really solid right there. And the adjustment points were very easy to use and move around. I was very happy with how that came out. So I wanna talk some more about the side and back plate here in a second. So talking about this chest protector here across the sides, I mentioned before that you get this new smart block strapping system and the removable side pieces are now kind of integrated into the side. And I felt great. Um, I absolutely loved how this felt. I love the smart block. It was super easy to adjust. I like the nylon back here. Um, the tapered fit was great for being able to tuck in. And this really kind of did feel like it was ever so slightly a little bit of a cheater. When I'm going to tuck my elbows in, I could feel my elbow clipping this. Um, so I wasn't getting the full complete seamless touch right here. I felt like I was just kind of clipping it ever so slightly. I'm not totally sure if a puck would sneak through in that inch gap or so that I was feeling. Um, it might've just been me trying to squeeze a little bit tighter and would be good to go, but I was pretty happy with how that felt. Super easy adjustments. And I think in terms of like a lot of chest protectors out on the market, the more removable plastic pieces you remove from the sides, the better. Um, when I was in retail, there'd be a lot of complaints from people about plastic pieces, buckles, what have you, breaking. A lot of people tried getting cute with covering it with HD foam and covering those buckles so they wouldn't get broken. But just making it HD foam is just genius to me. I love how simple this looks. Uh, I'm sure some people are gonna think it looks a little silly, but I mean, this is so simple and clean. I mean, I'm a huge fan of that. So I really like that, really like that tuck, really like that fit. And the, uh, the tapered bottom, try to hold it up so you can see it here. It was extremely noticeable. There you go. So you can see how much that thins out towards the shoulders. I really thought that that tapered shape tucked really well. I mean, I was really a big fan of that. I really enjoyed it. But now that I talked about some of the things I did like, I want to talk about some of the things that I did not like as much. So let's get into those real quick. So I already started to mention the height of the shoulders was a little bit uh, too tall for me. Like I said, I already kind of adjusted these back as far as it would go. So just to show you where I have it set up. So I have these shoulders here that were kind of pulled a little bit more far forward. Um, but if I pulled this uh, down more then the back plate was riding up. So I had to keep it here to keep that height. And then I moved the floaters out over as far as I could. 
So there is a possibility I could find that little bit of a better sweet spot so the back plate doesn't ride up and I can pull the shoulder down a little bit more. But overall, I was very happy with how I could easily adjust that. Like I said, it's just a little bit too tall for me. Again, the adjustments are there. But keep in mind, this is fully NHL spec. And if you were to get one of these units from a goalie that just used in the NHL, this whole area would be sewn down right here. You would not be able to adjust that. It would be set to one point. So again, that's the only difference between this unit and it being signed off by Kay Whitmore. But just keep that in mind that if you are getting one of those units pro return, you're not going to get those extra adjustments here. But at the retail level, you are getting them here. So while I'm still talking about the shoulders and everything up here, I want to talk about the neck. So this B-Star logo right here on this neck protector, like I mentioned on the Optic 2, this used to be fully adjustable where you could adjust the height up or down, get some extra padding across the inside of the stomach. I didn't think I needed any extra padding. This was awesome. Um, it felt great. It felt really comfortable. So I really like that. But this neck guard and this little uh, piece right here, this was so stiff to me. I'd go to lean forward and kind of get choked a little bit. Um, it was just a little bit taller than I was expecting and checking it out compared to my CCM units. They're using a little bit, they're still using a high density foam, but I think it's the lowest high density foam you can get until it turns into low density. This is definitely more on the medium stiff side and having that little bit of extra height, I felt it pressing in a little bit more. Um, some people could say you really want to have that extra protection that instead of having it be like a low density foam, you want high density, stiffer foams. But for me personally, I rely on the neck guard underneath to give me some more protection there. So I wasn't a huge fan of this neck guard right here. Or sorry, this uh, neck piece right here. But if you want a stiff neck protector, ever had any issues, this is the one to go to. One other thing I want to talk about here is the arms and the adjustments that you could get. So these straps I found were a little bit too loose for me. Again, I could just adjust them a little bit tighter because you can see how wide and loose this top half is. But when I adjusted these tighter and tried to slide my arm through, I like fought to wiggle my arm through. So I tried to loosen it up a little bit, but I guess I Goldilocks it and, you know, loosened it up too much. I got to find that sweet spot. But felt a little bit loose at the, the top of the elbow. Not like my elbow was falling out or it's misplaced. I just prefer the arms to be very tight in all of my units. I don't want to have them be loose or falling off of me. Um, I just kind of wanted to adhere to my body very well. Uh, but the rest of the mobility in the arm was like absolutely unreal. Like I really loved how the floaters moved. I loved the protection. Um, I didn't take too many shots up top when I was using it here, but love the shape, love the fit, love everything about it. And this arm adjustment point on the inside is super easy to use. It's currently adjusted to be kind of a little bit more like a medium arm. But if you undo this lace and move it over, you kind of get that extra inch out of it. Um, I really liked it and I was a huge fan fan of that so i'm going to put this down stop struggling holding it i'm going to give you some final final thoughts so now that i got to use the brian's optic 3 chest out on the ice uh, it was a little bit of a difficult decision for me to move into and try that brian's chest because i have historically always felt comfortable in coho reebok and ccm chest protectors i always found that they fit my shape the best and my body the best so I have dabbled with some other brands, but getting this Optic 3, I was a little nervous. But for me, I really like the fact that it pretty much is 99% NHL spec at the retail level. Again, the only difference being those adjustment points across the shoulders being sewn down, the K Whitmore signed off ones. But these, uh, excuse me, but this unit here for the Optic 3, being able to go get it off the shelf and use it in any sort of level of hockey all the way up to the NHL. I mean, like that's huge. You're getting protection, you're getting that comfort, you're getting those designs that pro goalies would want. And after getting some help from Brad before I put this unit on and getting some history about who was wearing it, who tried it, who liked it, I mean, it's popular, it's starting to take off. So if you really like having a big, borderline massively square chest protector where you present extremely well i mean the optic three is for you like i said earlier for me personally i like it to be a little bit lower i'm sure if i continue to use it continue to adjust it and try to break it in a little bit more i could get that shape i want 
I might even need a medium in this unit. I know Brad and I talked about that sizing before. Some of the other pro goalies that were trying it, I really want to try that medium chest. But for me, this large here was pretty solid, but I think I would be better off in a medium to get some of those lower adjustment points. But if you have this available at your local hockey shop, your retailer, whatever, I would definitely suggest go to try this chest protector on. I mean, it hits all the boxes you would need to be NHL spec, have the protection, have the quality that Brian's is known for, all wrapped up in that just high level protection NHL unit available off the shelf, that's huge. Beyond that as well, Brian's does do custom Optic 3 chest protectors. So if you want a different color, you're not loving the all black, you wanna to try to get something red, white, blue, green, you name it, they have those options available. And so I'd suggest to contact your local retailer to see what they can do for you about getting you an Optic 3 chest. But I'd like you guys to comment down below and tell me your thoughts if you think it's cool that Brian's is offering an NHL spec unit at the retail level. Is there anything you would change, anything you'd like to see Brian's do? Just comment down below and let me know your thoughts. My name is Chris Dudo and I am the Goalie Gear Snob. Thanks for watching this video. I'd really appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And also rang that cute little Liberty Bell for some notifications about what I upload to my channel. Please check me out on some of my other social outlets are going to be linked down below.